monogamous isn't quite as easy as it seems, especially when things don't go to plan. On Monday, our electrics went, which meant that we had no lights. Um, and we got electricity in straight away, but it was a lot harder job than um, any of us initially thought. So it took a lot longer, and obviously being without light was a logistical nightmare for vlogging. Um, our camera isn't good in low light, so it kept going in and out of focus, and any footage that I was getting was just really annoying. So um, I haven't vlogged from then, and obviously we had the electricians here as well and stuff like that, so it was a logistical nightmare. So anyway, I thought that I would come to you with an ASOS haul instead, which, let's be honest, is just as good. Um, I didn't actually plan to put these things into a haul, I just picked them up last week, I think it was, um, for some party outfits that I'm looking for over the festive season. So some of them are slightly similar, I went for a lot, a lot of sequin. Um, I love sequin at this time of the year, I'm an absolute nightmare when it comes to Christmas, I just want everything that sparkles, I'm like an absolute magpie. So yeah, I think I will just jump straight in and show you guys what I bought. I will link everything below in the description for you guys, but let's just get straight in. But first up, I chose this um, just stunning kimono dress. Um, it's actually a maxi dress, which is a bit different. I do find maxi dresses hard, um, you don't wear them that often, it's got to be quite a dress up do. Um, Ollie, for his work, does have a Christmas ball, which we're not sure if we're going to yet this year. Um, but if we do, I think that I'll wear this one, if it looks any good. Um, it's in a gorgeous nudie blush pink colour. And actually the sequ sequins are a lot nicer than I thought they would be. I thought that maybe they were going to be silver, but they're a lovely mottled pinky gold. Um, they're really gorgeous. It's quite a low v-neck, but it's got a slit in underneath, um, and it's also got a slit right up the front, which is nice. It kind of like adds a bit of a sexy touch, which I like. Um, I think I'm going to love this one. I quite like this style. I've had this style maxi dress from ASOS before, and um, I actually got one for my university graduation ball, um, and it was a red one, and I got so many comments on it, and um, I barely wore it since, but... Everybody loved it, so I think that this one will be quite similar to that. I'm in love with this one, but unfortunately it's too big. Um, it's a bit strange. The slip inside is quite tight, but the outer is really loose fitting. I think it needs to be tighter with this style around the waist, because else it looks just a bit too drapey um, and a bit frumpy. But other than that, I love it. I love the colour. I love the sequins. Um, I think I'll be ordering it in a size down. Next up, it's um, another sequin, I'm afraid. Actually, these sequins are really nice. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell on camera, but there's a lot of little sequins and bigger sequins. It kind of makes it look like a little print of sequins, which I think is lovely, because sometimes just the big sequins can look a bit cheap. I think it makes it look a bit more classy. Um, again, it's got like a wrap top, and then a ruche in the middle, and a slit down the bottom. Um, I'd say that this one is like just above midi length and it's got a little three quarter sleeve. Um, I wouldn't say that this one is the best quality dress that I've seen from ASOS. Um, it is on the cheaper side though, so that will be why. Um, yeah, I think I'll have to try this one on to see how I feel about it. It's got a slight open back there, which is lovely too, and a slip underneath. This one doesn't drape quite as nicely as I thought that it would. It's a little bit short to the front um, where it drapes over. Um, but other than that, it's probably not as cheap as I thought that it looked on the hanger. Um, and it's true to size. It's, I've got size 8 and it fits nicely. Um, I think I'd be worried that the drape would fling open too much because there's nothing holding it down. I'd have to put a safety pin there. So that would put me off this one now. It wouldn't be Christmas without a red velvet dress. And I am absolutely in love with this one. Um, it's slightly more of a orange red than I thought when I saw it online, but I really like this color. I do think that you need a bit of a tan with it, so I'll probably have to fake tan. Um, but it's really sweet. Um, it's a short um, skater kind of style um, wrap dress. Um, and it's just really simple. I feel like you could dress this one up with some nice earrings or necklace um, or some kind of embroidered accessories um, and it will look really lovely. Or equally, 
this is quite a nice one that you could dress up or dress down. You could wear this quite casually or on Christmas Day maybe. That could be not quite nice to wear on Christmas Day. Um, yeah, I think that this is one that I will probably definitely keep because it's just so simple and like a real basic for a Christmas outfit. This one fits beautifully, it's really comfortable, the velvet is lovely and soft, um, the skater skirt drops just perfectly, um, it is a little bit short but I think that that length is absolutely fine, drops down a little bit on the back which is nice, um, yeah I think this one's a keeper. This next one was a little bit more outside of my comfort zone, it wouldn't be one that I would usually pick up I feel, but I always feel like the underdogs are the best and I do think that this will be the case for this one. Um, it's a gorgeous teal long sleeved lace dress um, and the lace is really soft, it's, it's a lovely material um, and it's got a navy um, blue piqued velvet across it. Um, it's quite a long dress but it's quite figure hugging so I think that they always look more flattering when they're figure hugging. And then at the bottom which you won't be able to see very well but there's like a fishtail bottom to it. I'm so excited to try this one on. I can't wait to see it on. I really hope that it's nice because I've kind of fallen in love with it already. And it also has um, a bit of a high neck top there too. This one is really slim fitting, quite sexy, but it is very tight. Um, I think I'm just not used to wearing tight dresses, but it's very slim fitting. I couldn't eat a meal in it, that's for sure. Um, or I could, but it wouldn't be very flattering afterwards. Um, it's a really gorgeous dress. I do love the fish tail bottom because I've got nothing like that but I think I would be too self-conscious that I felt a bit like a pencil in it because I don't think I could move around easily. It's size 8 and I would definitely size up on this one. Um, I'm usually a size 8 but I would go for a size 10. This is a really, I, I want to say sensible, bit sexy dress. Um, I feel like this is a really good one to wear with the family, um, out for a family meal or something dressed up with family. Um, I didn't actually realise that the front part here on the bust is actually black and the rest of it is navy, which I love because I don't have a lot of navy accessories, but I have quite a lot of black shoes and black handbags, which means you can mix the black and navy together, um, which would be perfect, kind of like utilise what I've already got in my wardrobe, and I think that's the case with a lot of people. I think a lot of people go towards black instead of navy, so I love that this, this mixes the two. Um, again, it's got a lot of lace, um, it's got like a scooped neck at the top, um, a little um, scalloped sleeve, and then um, a chiffon bottom to it, which flows beautifully. I feel like this would be gorgeous to dance in. Um, I think this is a really, really nice kind of middle way dress, like a little bit sexy, but not too much. I feel so comfortable in this dress, it fits really beautifully, um, it's got a little bit of room around the waist which I quite like because if you're sitting and having a meal you've got some room to eat um, and the swish on the skirt is beautiful, it'd be amazing for dancing. I so want to love this next one, um, I fell in love with it in the summer, I saw it online and I didn't have any occasions to particularly wear it for so I didn't pick it up, um, it's this absolutely stunning lilac um, lace and it's got this cami um, top to it which I think is really pretty and delicate um, and I love how the lace is just kind of trimmed um, on the edge of it all. Um, between the bust and the waist it is just kind of see-through lace um, and then the rest has backing to it. It does have quite a poofy skirt so I'm not sure if that's going to be flattering or not. I think that will be the decision maker for me. Um, it could just make me look like I have absolutely massive hips, so we'll have to see, because it does look quite large. Um, I really want to fall in love with this one though, because I really want it in my wardrobe. It's a gorgeous dress. This dress is exactly how I wanted this one to fit. It's not too poofy around the waist, um, it's really flattering. I'd probably say I'd pick this one up in a size 8 again, and it is just a smidge too big, just a little bit. Um, but the lace is beautiful, feels beautiful, and it's actually really comfortable on. This one... I'm not so sure on. I think some things with ASOS come in they're really good quality and other things don't quite have it. I feel like they've definitely improved. Um, I've been ordering off of ASOS for years. Um, I have their like premium delivery thing. I'm not quite sure what it's called, um, but I absolutely love it. So easy, so convenient, especially for party dresses. If you have one come up quite quickly, they always come around quickly. 
um, and you can order it, have it next day, and ideal. Um, this one's definitely one of those dresses that I think is probably on the cheaper side. Perhaps I don't like the colours so much. Um, it's kind of got co copper colouring to it and peachy tones. Um, it's got a peachy lace back um, and it's also got the detail underneath these like winged sleeves. Um, I'm just not convinced. I'll have to try it on. Um, it's short in length uh, but I think it will come to just about the knee which I quite like that length. Yeah, not convinced on this one. So this one fits beautifully on, it fits in all the right places. I got it in a size 8 um, and it's absolutely ideal. I love at the back how it kind of scoops in just a little bit and the wing sleeves aren't too much, they're not too big and overpowering. Um, it's a lovely fit, it's just a little bit on the short side um, for the length. And then last but not least, um, this is probably one of the most expensive dresses I think. I believe that it was um, kind of at the £200 mark, so um, I feel like with this one I really need to try it on to see how I feel about it. I chose it for um, the sleeve detail. I've never seen anything like it and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I hope that it looks good on because um, I think it's a really fun black dress. I think black dresses can be quite classic and I do have classic black dresses but um, this is, adds a really fun touch to it. It's got like a polka dot um, lace and um, a button up there and also a slightly high neck. Well this one is a no from me. Unfortunately the lace detail is really gorgeous and I do love the sleeves but they just make me look really wide. I think it's really unflattering. It's very top heavy. Um, yeah what do you guys think? I think it's a definite no. Alright, so that is it. That was all of the dresses. I think there are about eight in total. Um, I've definitely got some favourites, but there are some which I'm not sure on. I'm kind of like deciding between a few. So I'd love to know what you guys think. Leave me a message below and um, let me know which ones I should send back and which ones I should definitely keep. Um, if you're not already subscribed, I would love you to subscribe and I will leave a button here somewhere to make it really simple and easy, hopefully. Um, and I'll also leave my Instagram name. I'm guessing that most of you have come from there, but if you haven't, I update there on a daily basis the moment I'm doing a video each week, so you'll be able to find out what I'm doing every day over there. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next week for sure for a vlog. Um, I will be back with Vlogmas. Um, we're going home next week. It's the run-up to Christmas, so it'll be super Christmassy, really festive, and I can't wait to go back to the south and just relax. So I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye.